Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Inter in FM20. I'm Aether, and this episode we're going to start off with a, a little bit of a special way. Because um, I had an insane game versus Juve in the cup. It was crazy. And we won the first leg. This is the second leg. And I, I'm just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm not even going to speak. I'm going to mute my mic. And you guys going to have to watch this one. It was a crazy game. There you have it. Madness on a huge level. So Ronaldo gave them the lead. Then Aaron Ramsey increased that lead. Then we managed to score. And then we managed to equalize. And then just a few minutes after we equalized, they took the lead again. Then in the second half, we um, got a penalty. Uh, Haaland scored. And then we, for the first time of this game, took the lead in the 68 minute by Sensi. We followed that one up with a goal by Asamoa, and then uh, Enrique scored their fourth goal. So we managed to win away with four goals against five. No, no, no with five goals against four, and four goals against five, because they them first. But with this game, I just sat there and, uh, yeah, oh boy, what a game. And um, there's a lot of Juve going on right now. So since the last episode, we played uh, versus Juve in the Italian Cup. That was the first leg. And that crazy game you saw was the second leg. First game, Lukaku scored another hat-trick. What is it? I think it's like his fourth hat-trick this season. If you count the preseason, something like that. And then we managed to beat Fiorentina. Where he also, and then we had a sensational game. But you know, we can't get enough of Juve right now. Because today, we are playing them in the league. And they are currently topping the table. And we've been topping the table for quite some time. We are one point behind them. Which means if we win there today, we're going to overtake them. But if they, if we lose, not they, if we lose, they're going to increase that lead and uh, things will start looking much, much more difficult. But since we managed to beat them both away and at home in, in the cup, I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to, to do it again. And uh, this is where we're going to start. Um, Malinkovic is uh, suspended and actually finally... DiMarco is back from his injury. He's out for like two months, but he is back in business. I think it was something else. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, maybe nothing else. But that, that's the current situation. Uh, also, the transfer window have closed. We, we didn't end up buying or selling anybody. Loaned out a few youth players. That, that, that's everything. But this is where we're going to start. And it's just been like two days left, rest or three days left since, uh, since that game, uh, the last game versus Juve. So we're doing some heavy rotations. I'm hoping that they won't be rotating as much as we are. And that that's going to give us a slight advantage when it comes to, to fitness. That's what we are hoping for. Uh, will we get it? I'm not quite sure. It's only one way to find out. And that's to submit the team. And um, for, the, for the games we played. So this is the Jovi game that we are up against. But very much the same one we were playing in, in the cup games. And uh, actually, I did. Uh, this was the way I was playing the first game. We played them at home, and then for that way game, I was playing with a defensive midfielder. So we uh, we uh, want to start this one, and I'm hoping since they clearly haven't been rotating as much as we have, that we will have a, a fitness advantage. So let's let's start it. Let's pause it ASAP, 
let's uh, take a look at their fitness levels. They are actually uh, pretty... I mean, look at this. Ronaldo is down to 89%. Ramsey 94, Pjanic 91, Delict uh, 92. So yeah, there is a fit aside advantage. A huge one. Ronaldo starting at 89. I mean, will he last the whole game? I'm not quite sure. De Vries picks up a yellow card. The same for Bonucci. The first highlight is Asensio with a free kick as the rain pours down. But maybe it's not going to be the free kick. Maybe it's going to be a counter attack because there's a lot of Juve players on the run. But he loses possession. Brozovic for Lukaku. 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 Lukaku going changing flanks for Ambrosio. Ambrosio. And that was a good try. And Lukaku. I mean, you know that he is sensational this season. It's, it's not the Lukaku we saw last year. It's fantastic, and I'm hoping we're going to get to see more of that. Look at the statistics. We have created a lot of chances. They barely any. And I'll say that jumps from one to four. So, well, things can change in the blink of an eye in football. And here is Juve with their first highlight. Going all the way back to the defense. We're trying to build something from the ground up. I'm hoping we can intervene. Trying to change flank. Come on, lads. We can do something. Yeah, we can. Three... Goes far. Here is Martinez. Martinez breaks through into the box. By oh, that was a weak finisher. Really weak finish. It was a good move, but the finisher was just not good enough. I need to demand some more here. I think. You see a goal kick from Juve. Passes this around in the defense. Intervened by Ambrosio. Ambrosio with an early cross. No trouble at all though for the Juve goalkeeper. He throws it out. And here is Cristiano Ronaldo. Beautiful save by Hadanovic. And as the ring keeps on pouring down, I'm going to see the corner for Juve Pjanic. Ronaldo the licked. That looks really, really unlucky. I thought like maybe an offside or something. It bounced back and forth, back and forth. But apparently not. Let's take a look at the replay here. So we see Pjanic with the corner. Ronaldo, the lift. Shoots once. Shoot. Okay, it bounces off the goalkeeper. That explains why it wasn't on offside. Very frustrating. We need to show some passion here. Um, Not great at all. I mean, we managed to win two games in a row. But it looks like three times might not be a charm. We uh, clearly need to tell them uh, aggressively that uh, we are not amused. Let's see how Ronaldo looks now. Okay, we're going to see a highlight ASAP. Hoping that will be good news for us. Nainggolan, Godin, all the way back for Adanovic. And we gives it away, but uh, we get it back quickly. Long, long cross for Lukaku, Romelu Lukaku, and look at that! Lukaku is always scoring. What a sensational season he has. This is his 21st goal of the season. Look at this cross that we will see in a few here. That cross is sensational. And this finisher from Lukaku is world class. We are officially back in business. But yeah, Ronaldo down to 79% fitness. Bronsovic. Tries a very optimistic shot, but uh, it's not even close. Not even close. Yellow card for Asensio. We um, see some Juve possession here. Oh, what a challenge there. Beautiful tackle. And here is Martinez. And that's, that's going to be a red card. It's going to be a red card. This is huge. This is big news for us. Aaron Ramsey is sent off. And now we're going to have the number advantage. But... Not, not always easy to take care of the number of adventures. And actually we see Juve with the first highlight. And Danovic makes no mistake though. And maybe something else will come out of this. Here is Asensio. Asensio will go by himself. A very optimistic shot. But um, at least we are creating something. We see a throw in here. Lukaku. All the way back for Adanovic. Loosen possession, more lads, focus, stay on top of things, stay on top of things, this is not staying on top of things because that's Cavani, but that's a weak finisher by Edison Cavani. Ambrosio with a throw in, Martinez with a long, long cross, 
All the way back for Godin. More lads, Eriksen. Oh, that was a weak pass by Eriksen. Sets us up for a counter attack, but that was another weak pass from the Juve player. And now we turn things around. Marco, Godin, De Vries. All the way back. This highlight's been going for a long time now. Nainggolan, Nainggolan with a beautiful pass for Lukaku, Lukaku into the box. Ah, get creative. I think we should take a look at the subs too. So, who is having a very that bad day at work? Asensio just been garbage. So, what we're going to do is we are going to change him around with Eriksen. And then we're going to uh, bring in uh, Sensi. That's good. Other than him, maybe nothing. Let's see fitness levels. Yeah, DeMarco is really, as you can tell from his fitness, he's just back from his long, long injury. So I think we're going to go with uh, with uh, Asamoah. Just need him to get time to rebuild. Because he's been out for like two months, maybe more. We see a goal kick from Juve. Changing flanks back and forth. Back and forth. Oh no! No, oh, no! Now it's Bronswich's turn! Now it's our turn to be one man down! God damn it! So we are going to stay on the attacking side. Even though one guy is out, we are going to stay attacking. This is the way we're going to roll for now. I mean, they also only have 10 players on the pitch. We can do that. We're going to demand more. We also have one last sub. So all the best. All the guys are playing good. The other guy says tired. Makes sense because they have actually been working hard. I think we should go with Martinez. Martinez haven't done much for today. Let's bring in Haaland. You know that Haaland can always come up with something. Octave Sondo, not a single highlight here at the end. Four minutes of extra time. We need this, we need this, we need this. Godin will throw in. Here is Asamoa. Asamoa to, uh, to where? To where? To you with possession. Come on, lads. Win it, win it, win it, win it. That's an order. That's a direct order. Make sure to win this one. Why, why is nobody trying to stop? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be a penalty. We're going to pause this one. I know it's going to be a penalty. I don't care. Let's go to the tactics screen. We need to prepare for them scoring. We need to be uh, all out attacking here. We, have, we, we, we need to do this ASAP. I, I'm counting on them to score. And if they don't, well, it's going to be a VR, VAR, VHR. And yep, it is a penalty. It was clearly a sort of penalty a mile away. Now we need to pray to the football manager RNG gods to be merciful, to make them Cristiano Ronaldo miss. But he doesn't, and now. Now it's going to be a very difficult, really, really difficult. Two minutes into extra time, almost three minutes into extra time, and he scores. This is uh, this is uh, depressing. But one one last highlight. Maybe maybe we can do something here. Asamoa, Asamoa, Asamoa. Naigolan, Naigolan. Would you nobody sends the picks it up, and uh, that's going to be game set match. Or maybe, wait, wait, something, maybe from the free, a free kick, from the goal kick. It's not all over, it's the highlight here. We're waiting for the ref to blow the, the yellow card. Come on, it's, keep holding on for it too far too long. Now, of course, we're crazy attacking, so that can come back pay, uh, to punish us. And it looks like it will. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Quick, hurry! Lukaku, don't be sloppy now! It's just seconds left to play! We can't do that, and it's Iguain! <sighs> yeah. So we managed to beat them two times in a row, but three times is not a charm. We have lost at home versus you. A very frustrating loss, which means they are making getting that gap in the table. We uh, definitely... I'm going to go aggressive, tell them that... This was very, very bad. And let's let's get out of here. Take a look at the table. Yeah, very frustrating result, especially since they had a red card early on. I feel like we should have been able to take better care of it. Yes, we got one ourselves, but still, this is not good enough.
But that's it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.